All right, what's going on everybody? Gaby Card Stacks here. I thought I haven't been buying as much, but I ended up with five, six, seven different packages here. So gonna show you everything that I've been buying. There's a package in here I've been waiting for over two months. I'm still skeptical that the card isn't even, that I bought isn't even in there, but we'll see. Long story, I'll explain later, but we're just gonna jump right into uh, my first package here. So uh, this one is a Hayden Hurst Optic Contenders Purple Auto number 275 so i just have been looking at all the injuries and, and everything that goes into the camp and preseason carolina's had a lot of injuries and so i just thought you know veteran tight end with a rookie quarterback dj dj shark has gone down terrace marshall's been banged up there's a few other guys they do have jonathan mingo from ole miss he should be a dog uh, and then adam thielen they signed as one of their signings but um, I just felt like this was a decent buy. I got this for at auctions for like $1.25 plus $4, $5 shipping. Not bad for a color match. He is a, a local guy to Carolina. He went to South Carolina. Someone mentioned that uh, when I screenshotted this and, and threw it up on Twitter. So that made me feel even better. So just a cool little color match. I think I could list that for $19.99 and someone would buy it. So not a bad flip there or potential flip. Uh, next one here, Kenneth Gainwell, Prism auto so i feel like just based off of everything in preseason and just everything online gainwell has kind of been the number one guy i mean who knows who knows what happens with like a committee um and what they kind of do in philly but i've been buying a little bit of Can kenneth gainwell these prism silvers seem to be somewhat scarce i picked one up for maybe like 20 bucks not too long ago and then i saw this one it was a pretty bad listing it was just like Prism, Silver, Kenneth Gainwell, Auto. I mean, I guess that's all the keywords you need, but nonetheless, uh, you know, I just thought that it was a good deal. I think this one was like $17 or $18. I'm the next cheapest at like $35. So I think it's nice to uh, double up and, uh, you know, try to make a play there. Gainwell, I think he could be a nice piece for, for Philly this year. Next up, this seems to be taped within um and this is jc uh domani jackson okay so uh domani jackson gold bowman university gold lava these are numbered to 75 i got this the day that he was announced as the starting corner for uh the trojans he was injured all of last he missed all of his senior year he missed a good amount of last year if not all of it but a five-star guy, top 10 recruit in whatever class that he was in, 2022, 2021 maybe. And I just didn't know if he was gonna be a starter. They brought in Christian Roland Wallace from my Arizona Wildcats, and they had a couple other guys. I think they had a transfer from Colorado, I think. And he was named the starter. So they already played week one, San Jose. By the time you see this, they they're played week two, whoever they've got this week. But played San Jose, he had a drop day pick that was in his hands and then gave up a, a touchdown on busted coverage. So who knows, um, the defense just doesn't look good in general. Alex Grinch is notoriously one of the worst defensive coordinators. Why he's still on the staff with Lincoln Riley, I don't know, nobody seems to know, but I just figured, I think that was under 10 bucks. So thought it was good value there uh, at 10 bucks for, for a gold auto. Gold auto is kind of the, the way that I'm going right now. Ooh, this was a, a degenerate move here for sure. Uh, Josh Johnson, Topps Chrome Auto from 2000, this is 2008, I believe. I was watching the Ravens and Commanders preseason game. That was when the Commanders broke the Ravens 24 game preseason streak. Josh Johnson looked good. He, he was dicing fools up and, and um, I don't know, I just kind of looked and I'm like, hey, they have uh, Tyler Huntley from Utah and his autos are very expensive. I think he only has like optic contenders. He's got like contenders draft picks, but he's only got optic contenders. I picked one up for like 40, a silver for like 40 bucks on Com C. Just, you never know what's gonna happen with Lamar if he's gonna get hurt. And so picked up that Tyler Huntley. If Josh Johnson becomes like the number two for whatever reason, if, if Huntley is maybe the three, who knows, a lot of potential there. I think I got this for like three or four bucks. There's a lot of them on Com C for like four bucks. So not a huge potential, but Josh Johnson looked good in that preseason game. So um, I was I was definitely all about it. Um, all right, so now onto the, the package. So a little recap here. So I was on Twitter. I saw a Joey Porter Jr. autograph Bowman University for $15. 
And I said, I'll take it. Uh, he didn't message me for like four or five days. And I was like, oh, what's going on? Maybe I'll message him. It was a good deal, 15 bucks. One of those cards that sells $15 at auctions, $30 buy it now sometimes. Nonetheless, he reaches out, I Venmo him, and then don't hear anything for like a week. And I'm like, okay, weird. Uh, hey, did this get shipped out? And I think he responds, or maybe he doesn't. I, I don't know at this point, um, but I sent maybe four or five, six messages and just no response. All right, I got notifications for his tweets. I was looking at his likes to see if he's active. This guy just dropped his account entirely. I went back to his sales thread and I was like, hey, did anyone else get ghosted who bought up from this guy? And he tagged like 20 people to like get retweets. Finally, like six weeks later, this is like August 11th. This was June 28th or something when I first claimed the card. He's like, hey man, sorry, my, my phone service got shut off and I, I had to drive to Nebraska. Uh, I'll get you your card. I'm like, hey man, like, no worries, just give me my money back. Like, I don't wanna deal with this anymore. He's like, I don't got the money anymore. He sends me like a video, like explaining his situation and shows me like the card. He's like, I'll ship it out tomorrow. So he don't hear from him. And I'm like, hey, did this ship out today? And he's like, yes, sir. And I was like, okay, we'll see. Uh, coincidentally, so that was a Saturday. Uh, coincidentally, I, ha I had to send a check to Omaha where he was um, for health insurance stuff. And I shipped that out on a Monday and they took my money out of my account on Thursday. So I'm like, surely the mail, it got there in like three days and they took it, they processed it. So like, surely my card should be coming, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Monday at the latest, nothing ever showed up. I started messaging like, hey man, didn't get anything. No, good, I'm good. Like, you know, I'm not a scammer. Like I sent it out. Just, I, he was just like, I, I promise it's there. I'm like, dude, like it's been like two weeks since you said you shipped it out. It finally got here today. I, I opened the mailbox and I saw the name that I, I sent the Venmo to. And I was like, no way, this guy actually sent it. So I covered up the address. I don't know. I mean, the guy still hasn't communicated with me in, in like a week or so. I don't know. So he sent a bubble mailer with tracking or bubble mailer, but with just a stamp. So I covered up my address, his address. Um, I don't know what this little stamp means. I tried looking it up online. I mean, you can barely read it out. It says stamp over it. I don't know if it was something with his address, if he had to pay postage due. To his credit, it does show it's post dated like August 13th, which lines up with where he sent it. I don't know if it got returned and he had to pay more post. I don't know what the deal was. I don't know why it took. Today's like the 30th of August. You'll, you'll probably see this like the fall, the first week of September. Um, I don't know what happened, but there should be a Joey Porter Jr. Bowman you auto in here. I'm still not even skeptical that, or I'm still not even, well, all right, let's just grab it. Let's just see, Hope, okay, Joey Porter. All right, cool. So we got it, we finally got it. I claimed this card June 26th, June 28th for $15. I finally have it in hand. That was just an absolute brutal just purchase history. I've, I've never been just taken for a ride like that, buying on the internet. So just be careful who you're buying from. Uh, I'm glad I finally got the card. I just kind of want it gone now at this point. I'll sell it under comps if I have to. Uh, I do have one already listed for 40. It has like 22 watches on it. No one's buying it. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm just gonna try to get rid of this one. Hopefully raise the comp if uh, it's kind of low and I just want this one gone. Uh, so that, that's my story. I almost got scammed. Thank God over two months now. All right, so last card here uh, in the mail. And this is also... Um, I was watching that uh, Ravens game, Ravens, Commanders. Anthony Brown came in and he was cleaning up. He looked really good. He, apparently he had an awful third preseason game. I went on Twitter because I, I, I figured he got cut um, just because they had four quarterbacks. But I figured maybe he's got a chance to, to land somewhere else. Every, everyone was just cooking this guy on Twitter saying this was just awful and he needs to be gone. They, they are keeping three quarterbacks, Lamar, uh, Tyler Huntley, and Josh Johnson. I don't know if he'll get picked up anywhere. He was he was cool at Oregon. Um, I think he transferred from Central Washington or Eastern Washington, I think. I don't remember. I don't think he was Oregon originally, uh, but this was like three or four or five bucks. He was cooking guys on on uh, the commander's, you know, fourth string, guys that all probably got cut. But I just thought, you know, a, a super low end play. I'm gonna lose money on this i don't know i'll probably send it to com c at this point just so i don't have to deal with it and i uh, can eventually sell it but yeah that was kind of my uh my prospecting there i watched all of that game and i was very impressed with anthony brown and josh johnson um there josh johnson's gonna be third string tyler huntley's probably the guy that you want to buy but 
yeah, just some some prospecting. Hayden Hurst, I mean, for six bucks, I think I can I can get twenty on that eventually. Kenneth Gainwell, I'm kind of owning up the marketplace there. Domani, gold autos. Gold autos are just gonna be the way that I go. There's, you know, I used to buy all sorts of color and just true gold non autos. But the, the growth on that, when I looked at Dorian Thompson Robinson and Aiden O'Connell, when you look at just their non-autos, when I was buying and selling them, I, I do feel bad. I, I bought a Aiden O'Connell gold auto for 15 bucks and sold it for like 60 and thought I was a god. Now I think I've seen them listed for like 300, which hurts. But at the time, I'm trying to move my money as quickly as possible. I'm not trying to hold, I'm not going to hold a, a college auto you know, guy. I don't know if this guy's going to pop off. If someone buys it for 60, I'm, I'm going for it. So... But the golds, they, they don't they don't move up as much. The autos are what's really moving. So gold autos, you know, there's not a lot of population on those. Um, you know, they don't pop up a lot, so you can kind of control your price. And someone's going to eventually come up and buy it. Um, just a cheap. They, they had the cracked ice for like fifty bucks. I was tempted for like how. That's how good he, I thought he was playing. Um, I knew he wasn't going. I knew they weren't going to keep four quarterbacks, but. I figured, you know, you could pop off one day and get a chance. Uh, almost got scammed there. Thank God we got that. And then Josh Johnson again. So that's everything. Uh, be careful when you're buying online. Always, you know, if you, if you don't feel good about it, which I didn't feel good about it several times, just um, pay goods and services. Although not on PWE, just ask for bubble mailer with tracking if you're going to do goods and services because you can charge back PWE um, and the seller's group. But nonetheless, that's everything. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.